Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time we have the uh, iOS 17 on this device in front of us, which by the way is still not officially available. So in case you don't have the um, official version of iOS 17, I wouldn't really recommend you to go for the beta stage, but I'm going to show you how to exit assistive access on iPhone. So let me show you how it works. Of course, you open up the settings and you can search for assistive access right away, but you can also go through or go there by accessibility and you'll be able to find it there. At first, you need to set it up in case you don't have it, so continue. You can see that it can look in roles on, or grids. You probably know what it is, and you can choose a bunch of different apps, basically all of them, so I mean, I'm gonna choose some of them. Yeah, it's not really that important, so hit continue, continue again. So you have to type in a passcode, set up a new one, so I'm gonna go with this one like this. This is just a setup process. Passcode recovery, so... So now we have successfully set up the recovery uh, Apple ID for you. You can see how you can exit the assistive access. So you have to triple click the side button. So I'm going to show it to you right away. So you can enter it like this. Type in the passcode that you set up for it like this. You can see entering assistive access. So this is a section where you can find uh, all of the important apps which take up like a huge amount of space. That's the whole point of this. So you can see I have the voice memo and the first thing that appears is to triple click in. So you can see I can use the voice memos like this and use the app normally which is a way to use it but to exit it you have to triple click the side button. It's going to ask you to uh, enter the passcode. So this was the passcode for me and this is how you can exit it. In case you don't remember the passcode, this is what you're going to use the Apple ID uh, recovery password to, to reset it. So that's an option as well. So yeah, you it may happen that you forget the passcode, especially if you set it differently from the one you used to unlock your iPhone. If that's the case, make sure that the Apple ID recovery is set up properly. So you can always just tap on forgot and reset it through the Apple ID. But basically exiting it is by th tapping the three buttons on the, on the right side uh, three times. And when you come back, you should be able to come back to the normal stage. So yeah, we are officially back. So that's about it. I just wanted to explain to you how it works. For more content and tutorial like this one, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And also make sure to hit the thumbs up as well. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you in the future. Peace out until then.